Buenos días, mis preciosos estudiantes. ¿Cómo están? Yo estoy muy bien hoy. Señora Corona está aquí hoy para hablar de cuántos años tienes. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be addressing the question, ¿cuántos años tienes? It means, how old are you? It literally translates to, how many years do you have? So today's lesson is going to be communicating your age in Spanish. ¿Cuántos años tienes? So why do you need to know this particular phrase? In order to establish rapport uh, or to get to know someone, you might ask how old they are. Or you might not, just kind of depends on you. Vocabulario nuevo. So communicating your age uses a couple of words that we already know and some new words. So we're going to go over all of those words in that phrase. Yo. Does anybody remember the meaning of the word yo? If you said I, then you are 100% correct. And Shia LaBeouf gives you some applause. Aplausas, aplausas. Muy bien. The next word we have is tengo. Repitan, tengo. Tengo means I have, and it can be used with or without yo. And this is actually a lesson that we're going to go into more in detail later. Um, but a lot of verbs in Spanish communicate the person who is doing the action within the verb itself. So just remember that you can say tengo or you can say yo tengo and they both mean I have. The next word we have is the numero. Repita, numero. The word numero means number. And so here you would insert a number. Uh, we have already learned the words for 0 through 29, and so most students can communicate their age using that chunk of vocabulary. If you are older than 29 and you are still in 8th, 8th through 12th grade, we may need to have a conversation because that's probably not such a great thing. And then the last word we have here is años. Repitan, años. All right, so the word años means years. The little squiggly line over the N, uh, that symbol is called a tilde. And that particular letter is called the ñ, and it forms the ñ sound. So like in the English word canyon, uh, you have an N and a Y next to each other, and it makes a ñ sound. Now, please do not mispronounce the word años. Please do not say anos, because anos translates to anus. And we're talking about years, not uh, external openings for feces to come out of. So just keep that in mind. All right, so here we have the phrase, Yo tengo 32 años. I am 32 years old. I have 32 years. Now we need to talk a little bit about these translations. So meaning versus word for word. Okay, so there are two types of translations. You can translate for meaning or you can translate word for word. Uh, translating for meaning is the most accurate translation, meaning that it is the translation that has the closest meaning or is more meaningful in both language, languages. Um, the translation for meaning will give you the gist or the overall idea of what's being said. It's used a lot for phrases that are really common and a lot of times for slang phrases. And when you translate for meaning, the words may not match exactly. And then your other option is a word-for-word -word translation. So uh, I usually abbreviate, abbreviate that W4W, just because it's a lot less writing than word-for-word. -word. But the, obviously that translation matches. Every single word is translated exactly in the opposite language. Um, it may not make sense. So, for example, if you take an English phrase and translate it word for word, um, when you say it in Spanish, it may not make any sense to, to Spanish speakers. Um, and this, this type of translation, the word for word translation, is usually what's most commonly done by students. So a lot of times they'll go into a translation app or they'll try to translate something um, each word at a time and uh, it, what they come up with doesn't make any sense. Which translation do I normally give? I will give you both the meaningful and the word-for-word -word translations. And usually what I'll do is tell you which is which. And there are a couple of reasons why I do that. Uh, it gives students context in both languages. So you can kind of compare and contrast how English and Spanish are similar and different. And it also helps students remember which structures are similar and different in which language. And if you go back to your learning styles inventory, you have a, an element that's called sharpener or leveler. 
and the levelers are students who look for things that are similar and they group things together by the fact that they're similar. And then the sharpeners are students who look for and group things together by their differences. So they're going to pay more attention to differences, whereas levelers are going to pay more attention to things that are similar. So it's, it's just extra information that I give, um, and it's supposed to help you guys understand a little bit better. All right, so going back to the phrase that I have, yo tengo 32 años. And 32 is not a number that you have studied yet, um, but 32 obviously means 32 because I have the numerals up there for you. So if you want to look at the translations, we're going to start with the meaningful translation. So the meaningful translation is I am 32 years old. So those phrases are most equal in both languages. They, they mean something to both speakers. Okay, if you have the word for word translation, Yo, I, tengo, have, 32, 32 años, years. Now, in English, we wouldn't say, I have 32 years. Just like in Spanish, you wouldn't say, yo soy 32 años viejo. Like, it, it just doesn't work that way, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're forming these phrases, that it it's actually, if you were to translate it literally, it would be, I have so many, and then years. All right, let's practice. Practicamos. So the sentence we're going to look at is, I am 10 years old, okay? And if we were to flip that around into a word-for-word -word translation, it would say, I have 10 years. So we're going to think back to our vocabulario, and we're going to say, how do we say I? Como se dice I? Yo. Muy bien. Como se dice I have or have? Tengo. Muy bien. Como se dice 10? 10. Muy bien. And then, como se dice years? Años. So I am 10 years old. Yo tengo 10 años. Muy bien. And then the next one we're going to do is I am 20 years old. So that's the meaningful phrase. That's how we would say it in English. And if we were to work it around to the way that we would translate it word for word is I have 20 years. So once again, let's do, let's translate it. We'll go word by word. Okay. Como se dice I, yo. Como se dice have, Tengo. Muy bien. Tengo. ¿Cómo se dice 20? Count on your fingers and toes. 20. Muy bien. 20. And then years again. Años. So I am 20 years old. Yo tengo 20 años. Muy bien. That's it for today, guys.